uh, my name is Mason and I'm currently a member of DARPA and today I'm going to talk about variable which is a part uh, of our uh, programming lesson. Uh, imagine doing laundry. We have to put our dirty clothes in a basket. We then carry it to washing machine. This is like a process using a variable. So variable can be used in our program to store values to use later in our program. The, bas the basket that I mentioned we put clothes in is like a variable uh, and in Java we, uh, you can store all kinds of data inside a variable. There are six basic types for primitive variables, uh, int, on, double, float, boolean, and char. So for numeral expressions, we can sort numbers into two major types, uh, integer and decimal numbers in math. Uh, an integer is stored as type int in Java, and decimal is stored as type double. There are other types that can store numerical expressions, such as long for very large and small values, float for half precision calculation, for logical propositions, true or false, they store as type boolean in Java. For a single character, use char. For multiple characters, use string. However, string does not belong to primitive type variables. It is a more complicated type reference variable. Uh, to understand more about how variables work inside the computer, let's come back to our analogy of laundry basket. Uh, inside the computer, there are multiple memory units, just like multiple rooms to store our laundry baskets. On each basket, we give it a specific name and type and let it store our clothes, our values. To be more specific, the values that assign with variable has to be the same type. Now imagine we have more than just a laundry basket in our rooms. We have shoe box, closets, refrigerator, refrigerators, any containers, you name it. It would be funny to put your dirty clothes inside your shoe box, inside your fridge. In Java, once we specify the name and type of each container, we cannot change it or put in some values of different types directly. Uh, this leads to the limitation of different variables. Just like too many items will not fit inside a small container, an int variable would never fit in a number more than 2 billion or negative 2 billion. To store the world's population, we cannot use int anymore, and we have to use long instead. Similarly, each variable has its own limitations. Thinking more about this scenario, wouldn't it be hard for anyone to distinguish two laundry baskets with the same name on it? In Java, we should give variable names that differ from each other, and more importantly, names that describe the value properly. If we put a label of white on a laundry basket rather than a label of X, we have less chance to make any mistakes. After putting the different containers inside rooms, Java will help you remember where each container is. And once we want to use it, we only need to call out the name of the variable, and Java will do the rest finding out the value. Uh, after talking about how variables work, we should move on to Eclipse and talk about how to declare and use it. I'm going to show you now how to declare and use variable inside a real Java program. So first, we open up Eclipse. And at the left side, we can see a package explorer. And inside it, we double click or right click to create a new Java project, and I'll name it demo here. And we don't have to create a module info right now, so don't create. And in, inside the demo, the project demo, we can see a source folder, and we right click to create a new package to store our program, and I'll call it 
variable and inside the package we have to create a class to run our program and I'll call it variable as well uh, but be attention to check the box uh, to create a main method inside our class to run the program so as you notice uh, when we create a uh, a package we have to use a lower lower case letter for its name and for class we normally use an upper letter for the first letter in its name so after we create the class uh, the computer will actually execute um, the command the statements inside uh, the main method so we will mainly type all of our statement right here as for now so inside main method I'll first show you how to declare a variable we have to give it uh, a name and we have to specify the type so I will call my variable int age and add a semicolon after each statement ended and uh, for this one, uh, I have a variable named age uh, that store integer value, so I use int for it. Uh, and after this, I can assign value to it. I'll add my age to it. And in order for it to output on the screen, I have to use a built-in method uh, which you might see in hello world program is system dot out dot print line and I'll type in the name of it. So I will automatically find other value assigned to um, the variable and output it in the console. Uh, so, for time's sake, I will show you how to define other variable here. So for long, for double, for float, for car, for boolean. Um, so remember, when you de define a char variable, you have to use a quotation mark uh, outside your value to show you the system that this is a variable in char type and for float and double you can add D and F in the end to tell the system uh, what type of value it is it's a double or a float and as we run it we'll see all the values we assign to it is display uh, in the console. So that's for today now. So um, in today's lesson, we covered variable, we covered what is variable, different variable types, the limitation, and how to use them in Java. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. This video is produced and directed by Darbot, an FTC team for from Darlington School. Uh, please subscribe to our channel to follow on future tutorials. Next time, we're going to talk about operators. We'll cover up um, mathematical, relational, and logical operators. Don't miss out. See you in the next one.